and that'll be four. He played with uh, consummate ease, really. He just stood back and the ball was wide anyway. Oh, driven nicely. The ball pitched in the slot, sunk Jawad, and very good on that shot. Neatly uh, timing it down the ground. Doesn't um, really have the legs to carry to the boundary. Picks up three in the process. That's uh, in the air, but uh, didn't get hold of it. Didn't have sufficiently to take it to the boundary. Yeah, top edge here from the Sri Lankan captain. Sangakara very very quickly latched on to that one the short one you really can't go too short on this track the ball sits up and that's again now uh, Sangakara manages to get it over the slip cordon oh that beat the fielder to his left and uh, racing away for four that was short wide and uh, was given the treatment it deserved there's quite a lot of runs already gone down to third that's uh, Sangakara. He makes the most of uh, that over pitch delivery very nicely timed right off the middle of the bat. A few more runs in that area. I'm sure it's a matter of concern. Fielder let him down there in the slip corner. Here we go again. Make it three boundaries, but this time it was outside edge. Oh, was that close to Mark Batchel? Go for four. It does. Well, that's nicely played by Sangakara. Just picked up that one very quickly. Sort of uh, beautiful shot. The placement is perfect. It might go for four, and it will. Lovely shot. What a shot. See, that's the way they play. They've got no idea how to set a field at the moment. They're, that's his 50, and hasn't he played well? Sure, he's had a bit of luck, but by gee, striking of the ball today has been excellent. What a wonderful knock this has been from Sangakara. Figure as well. Oh, slightly in the air, but there's more runs again. That might go for four as well. And it will. And there's more runs. That might go for for four, and it does. Unfortunately. Swept away, and we'll go for four. Four delivery. Pulled away. And yet another boundary. The 19th of the innings, and uh, no ball, and a little wider. Jaya Warner onto it in a flash and another four down to the third man area. There's extra runs. Down the leg side, Boucher unable to get across, so four buys. Wicket keepers hate seeing that signal. And that brings up Sri Lankan 150. And that's not rusty. Far from it, but a full toss. When have you seen Mackay and Teeny? Now, a guy has got nearly 200, nearly 270 wickets, bowling full tosses to left handers. He's normally knocking guys' heads off. Look at this. My grandmother could hit this. Look at that. That's a, just a gift. Well, there's no rust in that. Let me tell you, he is just enjoying himself here today. That's another boundary. Andrenel getting some bounce, but uh, Mahela Jayawardena was right on top of it. Now this partnership has crossed the 150 mark. Three batsmen for, for spinners. Well, pick the bones out of that. That is a class player. Backed it inside out, pre predictably. No bowling at the leg stump. Certainly, if you have only just woken up. That's down the wicket. Over mid wicket for four. And the news for you is that these two batsmen have taken their partnership to 173 now. He hasn't let the selectors down.
driven through the covers by Jai Wardner. Yet another boundary. Beautifully timed. And four more. Down the wicket. And just falling short of the fielder on the boundary. And Sangakara goes through to his 10th test century. His second against South Africa, the other being a double. But short, but what a fine hundred this has been from Sangakara, making use of the early lapses, but um, he's batted on. Magnificent shot. Good use of the feet. Checks up a little bit, but beautifully weighted right to the boundary. Great shot. He just knows how to get in his feet into position and give himself room so that uh, he could hit the ball over the top. 200 run partnership. Oh, that's rubbish. Really, that's two now. He's bowled in that area. Now he goes to 96. Now he can hit a, a ball on the ground to get 100. 99 not out. And was there bat on it? Yes. The reaction of the batsman that came off the bat. The first ball has been hit for four. And Jay Wadane gets his 15. Mark Benson. As a sweep shot has gone over the square leg fielder. Sangakara picking up another boundary. Few more runs down to that area that we call third man. But then this kind of artistry from Mahela Jai Wardhana is also to be expected. The second time he's played that kind of a shot, and you can see it's a, a sort of a, an expression that. Uh, Shows a lot of respect for the batsman on strike. Great shot. Well, there's nothing very much you could do. It wasn't a bad delivery. At... Nice shot. One of the better shots played today. There's nothing wrong with the delivery. It was pure timing on that occasion from Jay Wardhana. And he's got plenty more work to do. He's gone straight. In the air, but uh, with clear intentions of picking up four runs straight down. Once again, a very, very slow short delivery from Makaya Antini. Ball at 124.7 kilometers per hour. He's got it through. A huge grunt from the bowler because he knew once the ball had passed the fielders. It's going to be four. Another beautiful. That'll beat uh, both fielders. They're not that far apart back there, but beautifully timed by uh, Sangakara. He's pierced the gap. Swept away and swept away hard. Way, way back with a square. Teeny, no chance of cutting it off. Well, it's a hard new ball, and it just uh, hit the bat differently, isn't it? And brings up the 150 for Sangakara. These Sri Lankan batsmen, it's a trait in them. If they get 100, they're going to make the big ones. All of them have that highest score of hope. I'm sure there was bat in it. Yes, and the way he runs uh, at the opposite end, Jay Wardhanam, it suggests that uh, he's reached an important... Uh, Milestone, so that's his 150 runs. Mahila Jai was an end, his six score of 150 plus and 10. Well, he's struggling trying to get that ball to swing from middle stump, but at the moment is just angling onto the pads, which means easy pickings for the Sri Lankan batsman. It's 333 for two. Well, it's the hard new ball, and it's traveling that much quicker. Bruise it a little bit. Just like that. Is it a bruise? But that is just great batting. It's gone through. And once again, Sangakara getting deep into that crease to play this back for drive. 
Sri Lanka making merry here. It's gone to third man, but I think uh, the fielder at uh, the third man didn't pick it up quickly enough. So he was going in the wrong direction. A little bit in the air. He didn't have the control, did he? It and the batsmen are in. Shots like that, for instance, beautifully executed. Giving Amla no chance on the cover boundary. Cut it off. That again was short and wide and got the treatment it deserved. Oh, cuts and gets about a bottom edge and that's racing down for four in that third man direction. Short and uh, pulled away and there's no chance of stopping that down on the line. The ball once again racing through. The outfield certainly has quickened up. That was in there for a while, but wide off the man at slip. Not the easiest of chances. Wide off him, racing down for four. Bounce quickly. Swept and swept well, using the uh, length once again, and crashes it to the boundary. Ooh, he hit this hard. He hit it really hard. Amlo would be very pleased it went past him and not into him. Just heard it. it was so crisp, right out of the middle of the bat. There are two men back there. He's hit it in front. Great shot, use of the feet, and he's found the gap too. Angakara, and that's the best partnership uh, versus South Africa. Steve O and Greg Blewett. That will take him to 198. The 400 run partnership comes up between Sangakara and Jay Wardenham. Is there again the controversial shot according to Robin Jackman. The four runs the second time he's played it today. And Nicky Boy as we'd expect has got a quizzical look on the face. Nothing much he could do about this. This time he really got hold of it, right off the middle of the bat, wow. There he goes. The fourth double hundred for Sangakara, his second against South Africa. And his second double hundred as a batsman, as a specialist batsman in the... Jay Warner on 199. There it is! A double! His third double. The first six of the match. She's happy. They're happy. And what a partnership. What a knock. So proud for him. The second Sri Lankan captain to score a double hundred as well. Because Marvin Antipatu scored one as well. He scored many actually. But what a knock it was there for the, the skipper. He's worked very hard. Inside out over extra cover. Cop that. Amazing batting, 452 for two. Prep there just to illustrate. Another beautiful shot. Placement is absolutely perfect. Now this is the sixth highest partnership in test history. 2004, so that is just a great... The 4-4-4 run partnership in just 613 balls. Oh, that's a gimme. That had nuts and topping on it. That was delicious cricket when I saw it. There's a big hit there and one bounce, two bounce and a roll away for four. So another good over there for the day, day three. Andre Nell to Kumar Sangikara. It's the South Africans in the air and that'll go away for at least a couple. Keeps it inside the ground, two more, well done, Mackay and Tini. Beautiful shot again, they'll get two more. Good running. That'll loosen him up a little bit. That's the 500 up there for Sri Lanka, and they've just lost. Great shot, that might go for four, a big screen for Andre now. But he can scream out to the crowd to throw it back.
uh, bad bounce. And that brings up his 250. And that's a class shot. One of the rare boundaries today. It's another boundary. That's his 30th boundary. Nicely put into the gap. Sangakara again. The timing exquisite. That will run down for four. That's his first four. First bet. Better off. Sri Lankans. How's that for a bad midfield? Brings his 250 up. And looking for two and run sold into the wound. Well played. Sangakara. 250. Yes, Sangakara. 250. Oh, edged it. First slip. Not there. Four. And then having beaten him, just drag that down a little bit and Jai Wardner onto it like a flash. And crashes it through mid-wicket for four. Back with a square with power for four. My goodness me, he hit that. Full toss, four runs. Later. Oh, this could be four runs. Would that be the record? Yes. So there it is. Four runs, and that is the highest partnership in the history of Test match cricket. So you can see the crackers, or hear the crackers uh, in the background. What a fine! partnership this has been pumping the air and uh, the entirety of the VIP enclosure the interim committee standing in applause fastest partnership in international cricket and the irony is that one of the people who had the partnership was broken is out there this third wicket partnership is now the best ever partnership the history of the game as i said over a period of 129 years over 1800 test matches so the significance of today there it is 1946-47 when holker was a team there is that lofted extra cover drive that he plays so well one of the rare shots in the game that he has really mastered mahela jai wardene do i see a change in approach Yes, one really uh, sees that there is a little bit more effort to try and hurry things up using his feet once again. Nimble footed, just gets to the pitch of it, just giving himself that little bit more room to get the elevation. Gets. Beautifully played. Beautifully played. Not only the placement, but to get the right height trajectory to get it over top of the extra cover fieldsman and then time it so well to beat two boundary. Is that going to go all the way? No. Amla the fielder. 298. Where can we nominate? Extra cover. Mid wicket. Extra cover. That's it. Stroked away quite elegantly, which is. Uh, Really, the way that he's played throughout this innings. 300. By what a moment in his career. Not just for him, for his wife, his family, his teammates, and for the country as well. The second player for Sri Lanka to score 300. Joe Suri being the first, and that's 340, so he's only 40. might go for another four and it does that's good timing this outfield's uh, just got a little quicker over the first couple of days but they're still run three hauled in by Hamler and the end of the over 634 for two find out whether Jai Wardner also is walking towards the dressing room. 
doesn't look like a, a declaration has come in.